In this presentation, we will be going over the customization of comprehensive reports. The General Ledger and Payroll module have been redesigned to use the new report engine, allowing you to customize some of the reports in these two modules. All other modules will have at least one quick report and some comprehensive reports. In this list, you will see the quick report and comprehensive reports that are included. Let's look at the Accounts Receivable, Reports, Customer Reports. From the lookup, I'm going to select the Customer List Master, which is my comprehensive report. Let's preview this to the screen. Once we preview the report to screen, we can see this report has much more in-depth information and is a presentation quality report. There's lots of information and is arranged for easy viewing. This report does not export to Excel as easily as the quick reports because it is not in columnar format. However, we can still export this report to Excel to PDF, or to a Word document. Another feature is the drill downs. You can create your own custom drill downs to hyperlinks. This particular drill down, when we click on it, takes us to the customer inquiry screen for our customer ETC. Let's close out of the preview and select the customize. Notice this is the same design screen as custom forms and custom reports, but with added capabilities. Looking at the menu across the top, we have File menu with many options such as File, Save, Print, Preview. The Edit menu allows us to undo, redo, as well as your copy, uh, cut, and paste features. The View menu offers many toolbars that you can select when customizing your report the Report menu, the Database menu, and your Help menu. We're going to select the Database menu and then SQL Syntax. When we first open the SQL Syntax, you can see everything here is grayed out. You can click the Edit SQL Syntax however this is only for those who are SQL programmers this is available with the custom office module, but we do recommend staying away from this method of editing the SQL syntax. Instead, let's click on the build SQL. The build SQL comes up with the SQL syntax wizard, which guides us through to select the tables and fields, filters and sorts desired and will build the SQL statement for us. If you own the custom office, all of the tables in the database will be available to select. The existing tables on this report are on the right hand side under the selected tables. I'm going to add the AR invoice table to the selected tables. I'm going to scroll down, find the AR invoice table in the list of available tables and click on the arrow to add it to my selected tables. Once I select the table and add it to the selected tables, the table join screen comes up with a suggested join menu to make the report creation simpler. I'm going to join my AR invoice FKAR customer to the AR customer SKAR customer. This is using the suggested link and I'm going to say OK. As a note, you should always review the tables and fields documentation to ensure you are linking the tables correctly. The suggested link is a suggestion only and may not give you the results you desire for your report. Now that I have the AR invoice table added, I'm going to select next and I can click on the plus sign and select the fields that I wish to add to my report. I'm going to select the invoice number and add that to the selected fields and I also want the invoice date and I'll select that. We 
can also change the order of the items in the selected field side by just highlighting the field and using the arrow to move it up or move it down. Now that I've selected my fields, I'm going to select Next. On the next screen, we can select to add filters. You can add an unlimited number of filters to the report based on any table or any field that is associated with this report. To add the filter, click on the Add Filter button, and this is where you would... To add a filter, click on the Add Filter button, and the Data Filter screen comes up where you can select your filter criteria. When we select Next, we also have the ability to add an unlimited number of sorts. Like the filters, the sorts must be based on the available tables and fields that are on the report. To add the sorts, you click the Add and then select the sort desired. We're going to say Next and then you'll see that the wizard has automatically created our SQL statement for us and then finish. When I close out of here, we are now back on the design screen where we're going to add the information that we just added in our Build SQL Syntax screen. I'm first going to add the label for my field. To do that, I'm going to click on the A, the letter A up here. If I hover over it, you'll see that it's for the label. I'm click on that button and I can come down here and place place the field where I'd like it to appear on my report. I'm going to put it right here on my report, align it, and then come up here and I'm going to call this the invoice number. That's my label. And then I can bold so that it looks good with my lines up with my other labels. There we go. And we'll send this over. And then I'm going to put the invoice number database text field on there. So we're going to uh, click on the button up here that if I hover over it, it's the A with that little piece of paper up above it. And if I hover over it, you'll see that it says DB text. If I click on this button, and place it here, it places a DB text field there. I want to come up here and from the available fields to select, I'm going to come down and find my invoice number. These are all in alphabetical order, so it should be easy to find. Now I want to add my invoice date, so let's put the label on. Click on the letter A, select this, we'll line it up here. And I'll come up here and I'm going to type invoice date. And like with my other label, I'm going to bold it. And now I'm going to add the invoice date pulling from the database. So I come up to my button bar and I do the letter A with the paper over the top of it, hover over it, and it's DB text. Place that on my report. I'm going to remove the bold on this one and then I'm going to come up here to the available fields and come down and select in alphabetical order my invoice date. Now let's go up to file and preview and we're going to say yes to uh, allow me to look at my changes and now we can see I have my invoice number and invoice date that's been added. Now I'm going to close out of my preview, close out of my report, and I'm going to save and give it a name. Call it my report. And the next time I go in, my report will be available under the accounts receivable, reports, customer reports, and here's the my report. And this concludes the training on customizing your comprehensive reports.